What do we think about an orange wine? I like an orange wine. Gavi de Gavi. Oh, you can't go wrong with a Gavi. Google. No, not that. <laughs> it's too expensive. No, no, no. Such the selection here. Three brooms. It's vegan. I've not heard of three brooms before. I don't know. What do we think about buying chilled wine as opposed to just off the shelf? So our little haul from our local, what would you call it, a butcher shop? Or just a meat shop butcher and a fresh shop. grocery shop? Butcher shop. We've got some bucatini, which Sandy is going to make for dinner. Since I cannot have pasta, I treated myself to some mortadella, which we fell in love with in Italy. And then we also grabbed kind of an impulse buy on our way out some fresh sourdough. And then we've got the Cypria, which I grabbed, and the Cote de Rhone. This vlog will already be up by the time you see the second vlog. However, it was a very exciting moment to be exporting my very first vlog. Who doesn't love a Sunday brunch? Mortadella from our local butcher shop. Feta veg is not cooperating at all, but it's gonna taste delicious. And there we have omelet, a little bit of pumice toast. Not sure. I've heard that sourdough is okay with pe for people who have gluten issues, so we're giving it a try. And the crossword. I'm about to head out to do a bit of shopping and I wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. We were going for something that's very warm without being bulky because today we're supposed to get a winter vortex in Nashville. So I, hopefully I won't be too cold, but I have on this white turtleneck. This is from Smash Lemon, just a very simple white knit paired with my blazer from Loft, a very plain, simple black blazer. And then I'm also wearing jeans from American Eagle. I honestly have had these for Oh, it has to be a decade. <laughs> They're very old, but very comfortable. And then I also have on these shoes from DSW. These are from Kelly and Katie, and they're just a chunky heel loafer. Incredibly comfortable. And finally, I am wearing the Maxi and Mini Square Hoop from the Daisy London by Estée Lalonde collection. Today we are hoping to find a winter coat on top of there being a winter vortex in Nashville. I, I don't have a very functional winter coat and I leave on Saturday for a business trip in France and Italy. I have no idea what the weather is going to be like and the coat that I have at the moment, honestly it's just not very functional. It's warm, however the buttons are very difficult to do and then there's no belt. So not very quick to take on and off. And when you're running through airports and train stations in and out of the cold, you really need something that is much, much easier to take on and off. So we're gonna head out to the mall, see what we find, and I'll take you along with me. I'm also using this Repro Vintage handbag from Band Retro, and I got this on Top Vintage, and it's been living in the back of my closet. However, I think it goes quite nicely with the outfit today. I think we have definitely come to the right place in Macy's. Warm coats with belts. So the first one I found is this dark navy Michael Kors number. And I like the color, actually. I'm usually a black or khaki coat person, but it has the tie. It's just, it's a bit long for what I'm going for. So I grabbed a few others. I'm gonna try those on. Next thing we have on is a Calvin Klein and it is so New York. I love it. However, this is an extra small. It's a little snug. I wish they had a small, uh, but it's got this middle section that zips, and then it's got an additional zip here, and then it also ties. So if this one was just one size bigger, I think it would be perfect, but it is cute. This one is definitely going to be a close contender. This is the same coat that I just had on, but this is the small, and I've zipped it up to the next layer here so you can see what it looks like, fully zipped. And then it has a tie as well. Ooh, I like that. Really, really warm, and it's got a nice little neck, like knit, built-in scarf. It's quite nice. 
quite nice. I have this little green number from Michael Kors. This one is cute, it's a good length. I love the color. I was actually expecting to find a black or khaki coat. So this green one is kind of a surprise uh, for me. I like it though. My only concern with this is I, I don't know that it's gonna be warm enough. It's just, it's just simple fleece with a lining. So I don't know that this will fully protect us from the cold. Or maybe we don't need a belt after all. I actually like this khaki one from Anne Klein. And the buttons are quite easy to undo. I don't know how about one-handed, but quite easy to do. And it's definitely the color that I was looking for. So it's either gonna be this one or the black one. Decisions. Does anybody else, like when you can't decide, you just carry it around for a while and see what one you, you end up liking better? We have decided to get both of the coats because as Sandy pointed out to me, one is a coat for winter and one is just a jacket. And I think I need them both. I've just made it out to the car and I already had to put on one of the coats because it has dropped 10 degrees since I got to the mall and we are all the way down to 28 degrees in Nashville. It is quite a bit later now and we just brought Josephine outside because we have snow, which rarely ever happens, but it is our winter vortex week and we think it's gonna stick, right? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to. We just have a fine dusting right now and apparently we're supposed to get like one to three inches. How exciting. We've got the general idea sketched out and we're just gonna start painting, see what happens. Geraldine as our witness and Boardwalk Empire. morning now and I had to come outside to show how much snow we got because it's more than they predicted. Oop, I get it, but I remember thinking it was like part of like becoming a woman. like Right, because it was what you saw as the grown-up women yeah. in your life. Yeah. And I just got a cup of tea on and I wanted to show you the status of our tea cupboard because it's gotten a bit out of hand and this is entirely my fault. This is the one tea that Sandy will drink, the Earl Grey. And the rest of it, I'm gonna be totally honest, this is on me. And not that I like all of these teas, but first of all, Kushmi tea have sales so often and there's so many teas that sound good and then I get them and I don't actually like them. I wish they had smaller sizes. Sweet Break, for example, I got because the Aqua Rosa, which is a fruit tea, is amazing. It's herbal, it's just a great, evening tea, summer, winter. I got Sweet Break because it was similar, but more orange fruits rather than red fruits. And it turns out I don't actually like this very much. That's kind of how this whole excess of tea began. Their packaging is phenomenal. So for example, at Christmas time, they had a glug, I assume is the pronunciation. It's a, it's a hotel, the actual packaging. It's scenes as if you were at a hotel, which I think is just stunning. The tea itself, however, nothing worth writing home about. And then this packaging, the actual French flag, Petit Déjeuner à l'Elysée, it's beautiful. However, this is mate, which is possibly my least favorite kind of tea. I told Sandy at the beginning of this year, one of the, I don't know if you would call it a resolution, but one of the goals I have for this year is to drink my way through all of this tea. Except this one, this one's gonna get thrown away. This is a chocolate hazelnut tea that I found at Barnes and Noble. And I mean, it's adorable. We got it for Christmas. The flavor just really fell flat for me. It tastes very artificial. And then we have some of our healthy yogi teas. We have the Kushmi tea, the Bouquet de Fleur. That is uh, an Earl Grey tea. The Kashmir Chai. 
I don't even know that I've opened that one, to be honest. <laughs> I'll give it a try eventually. Throat coat, always have to have, just when you are not feeling 100%. That is a great, great go-to tea. And then Sandy's sister actually got me the Kushmi Tea Detox. It's one of her favorites, and I've tried it, and I love it. This is a fantastic afternoon tea, whether you feel like you need a detox or not. Right now, I'm just having a cup of the Prince Vladimir. I'm going to add some of that delicious cookie butter Califia Farms creamer that I shared in my last vlog, and we'll be ready for a day of work. My gym posted this morning that they were closed today because of the roads. The yoga studio also canceled all classes today because of the roads. And I drive a Mini Cooper, so I couldn't probably drive anywhere anyway, even if I wanted to. So because I didn't leave the house at all yesterday, I am in desperate need of some movement and roll out the mat, ready to do some yoga. Geraldine here with me. I just needed to give our living room a quick tidy. It was so cold this week, we turned it into a sort of hang spot for us and the kitties. Lots of pillows, lots of blankets, just a spot to get very snugly in front of the fire. I wanted to take care of this and get things back in order before I left on Saturday. As I mentioned, I will be going to the north of France and then down to Italy to visit my company where our headquarters is. And then I will be spending a few days in Cannes just to spend some time in France, practice the language, and hopefully show you around a bit. And it also felt good just to stretch my legs as I spend most of the day seated at my desk in the office. showered, feeling like a brand new woman after being cooped up in the house for three days. Just me, the cats, the fiance, except he's been able to go to work because he has a big car. I have a little car, so it's a lot more difficult. But I looked out the window, and I'm thankful I went out earlier when I did because this poor soul is now stuck in the ditch across the road, and he is the third person to be stuck in that exact same spot, mind you. They don't think to plow or salt or anything here. Nashville is probably the most ill-equipped city when it comes to winter. We get a week like this every single year, and you would think someone would be smart enough to say, maybe we should have a few extra salt trucks on hand, and no one does. I'm watching this unfold, and it looks like help has arrived. We have another little car back there. We have a truck doing something back here. And it's a team effort. It's about two hours later, and the tow truck has arrived. That poor soul. Sandy had a very exciting day at work today, so we are breaking into some Viv Clico to celebrate. Yeah! Cheers, my dear. 
We made some ramen with another batch of our chicken stock and it looks delicious. I use zucchini noodles since the gluten is an issue. We have our vov. I think it'll be a relaxing night. You've never had tea forte. They're some of the most delicious teas. And I forgot I had gotten this for Christmas. And there's a few new flavors in here for me. They have this raspberry ganache, sounds delicious. Sweet orange spice, cherry marzipan, and winter chai. We're gonna give one of those a try. <laughs> tea brand too. I love that they're little triangle diffusers. It's little leaves on top. Last year I actually got Sandy for Valentine's Day I believe the diffuser and their diffusers look just like their tea bags but they're made of metal and the bottom pops off so you can put your loose leaf tea in there. Winter update. It is still very cold outside and that poor soul had to leave his car overnight. You can see each car is just going down this hill so slowly. Still no salt, still no sand. I have to say, this is the most unfortunate person I've ever seen. He's still trying to get his car out from the side of the road. The tow truck that came last night had to leave because the road was too icy. We've got two policemen on the other side of the street, down at the bottom of the hill preventing traffic. And I just watched as one of the workers was trying to hook up the car, slipped and fell on his bum because the roads are that icy. This is winter. <laughs> is it Friday yet? It's about noon on Thursday. I've just stepped away from my computer to make some lunch because it's been back to back all morning and it's going to be back to back all afternoon. I haven't been buying very many groceries this week since I leave for my trip in two days. So we're having kind of one of those throw everything together that you can find in your pantry and your fridge and hope it tastes good. Just sauteing up some mushrooms, broccoli, and shallot. I have some quinoa boiling and I'm about to add egg into this mixture as well. I've just whisked up some eggs. So I've just whipped... Just whipped... I've just whisked up some eggs. Bravo! And I'm just gonna scramble those for an easy source of protein. A quick flash in the skillet and they'll be ready to go. Put it in everything. You really, you cannot go wrong with feta cheese. It's so good. I also decided to try these Perrier Lime in preparation for my trip to France. And they're not bad. I had to find something other than tea. They just sounded good. icicles are actually melting and it looks like I'm in the clear with above freezing temperatures for the next couple of hours so I'm gonna make an effort to go to the gym but we may just end up down on the bike I drove all the way to 
to the gym for nothing. <laughs> As I was walking into the gym, these two guys coming out look at me and they go, it just closed, we got kicked out. I watched as other people walked out as well. And sure enough, the gym decided to close early because we're supposed to get freezing rain tonight now. This week just keeps getting better. I am going to head downstairs to get a workout in on the bike, see how that goes. And then it'll just be an evening in. Vlogging, editing, and maybe doing some painting too. Ah! Going all the way to the gym, only to have it closed. Such a bummer. So I feel really bad because I've had to change all of Sandy's adjustments, but what must be done must be done. It's very cold again today, and Josephine has found the heating vent. <laughs> and we're back. If you're a vlogger, I would really like to know how you set up your space while you vlog because I have just finished filming a Travel Essentials vlog. I had to get out the step stool because I'm not entirely sure where are your camera angles coming from? Something that I am now hyper aware of when I watch vlogs. But I just finished filming. My camera was set here. I was sat there and it was just, it was just kind of messy. If you have any tips, do tell. I have not even started packing yet, and my flight is in less than 24 hours. So I'm gonna get working on that, but I appreciate you joining me again this week. Stay tuned, as everything in the next vlog will be in France and Italy, and I can't wait to share it with you. Mm -hmm.